And you were man myself, Bilney, little Bilney, that blessed martyr of God. What time he had borne his faggot and was come again to Cambridge, had such conflicts within himself that his friends were afraid to let him be alone. They were fain to be with him day and night and comforted him as they could, but no comforts would serve. As for the comfortable places of scripture, to bring them unto him, it was as though a man would run him through the heart with a sword. Yet afterward, for all this, he was revived and took his death patiently, and died well against the tyrannical sea of Rome. Woe will be to that bishop that had examination of him, if he repented not. Here is a good lesson for you, my friends. If ever you come in danger, endurance, in prison for God's quarrel and his sake, as he did for purgatory matters, and put to bear a faggot for preaching the true word of God against pilgrimage and such like matters, I will advise you first, and above all things, to abjure all your friends, all your friendships. Leave not one unabjured. It is they that shall undo you, and not your enemies. It was his very friends that brought Bilney to it. This is not a comfortable message for us, any more than it was in the 16th century. To sacrifice conscience and principle is a temptation in every age. And we too may say that it is for peace, or for our friends, or for our lives. But if any one of those sets us against Jesus Christ, then it must not have power over us. If we place the influence of friendship so highly, then at least let the friendship of the Lord Jesus Christ have first place in our hearts, even as Christ held out the hand of friendship to us. Henceforth I call you not servants, for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth, but I have called you friends, for all things that I have heard of my Father I have made known.